Is this Ronin Cat just lurking here? A great slam and then some. You're up! Fucking cut that one short. Holy shit! Back dash close slash. Back dash close slash. You've been watching too much Kelly. Running cat's been new out neutraled like five times in a row. I think they're they're not gonna press a thing on wake up. <laughs> I wonder why you would say that. This matchup is the most even. Resi, what's your what's your feeling is what it means to have an even matchup against a character, which I don't know if you have felt in your life. You are right. You are right that Nuggle Round Start is over to. But this matchup is still even. Ramlethal has positive bonus all the fucking time. That I'm kicking the shit out of Ronin Cat is because Ronin Cat doesn't get to put me in the corner and free win me. That's why Ronin Cat is losing. wants to analyze why Rodan Cat is getting fucking eviscerated here. You know what's real? When we're breaking out the uh the whiteboard and you're gonna be in a you're, you're gonna be on a fucking US weekly article, okay? Three reasons why you lose to Nago. What's the side panel? Climatize is a scrub. Let's go to the panel. Who can tell me the most important thing about fighting Nago? Cover your feet. Watch the blood meter. <laughs> Don't die at round start. 
Blocking? Question mark? Watching blood. Block. Aelin says, punishing Fukio. Wow! Congrats, congrats. Well done, well done. Okay. So. So there's three reasons why Running Cat dies like a motherfucker. Number one is definitely they don't answer Fukio. Where is he? Where is Nago? Oh shit. Where is the answer from Ronin Cat? Hello? This is not where you want to be. You do not want to be going this way when this big ass motherfucker is coming at you from downtown. Fukio is 28. 28 frames. This is for fucking ever. Your first instinct needs to be slugging this motherfucker because there's nowhere else he can go. The only way he can go is this way. So why are you retreating? This is reason number one. So think of command grab. Command grab out of Fukio is actually going to be 28 plus 7 equals 35. This is forever. 28 is already a pretty long time. But 35, a dash plus a close slash, a dash plus a 2k, a dash plus a command grab, that is for fucking ever. Fukio forward. If this was grab, I would have grabbed Ronin Cat. I would have just been able to walk up and grab because they're not answering the dash. They're playing a rig game of RPS after. Burst. Go Fukio forward again. Okay. Where's he going? Into the backyard. Okay. Whoa. This is this is 28 frames later or something. The, the man is walking. What is this? What is this up back? This is wrong. What you need to do is fucking fight. Okay, let me let me let me illustrate. I'm just gonna skip to the end. We've already talked about why this is bullshit that this this man is fucking just dashing on people for no reason. What do we know? This character is a 9.49 monthly subscription to only mids. Only mids. There's only one thing you have to look out for. Where and when is Fukio? If you look for this at all times, then it's pretty hard for Nago to dash up to you uncontested. If you have this on your mind, the reason being is when you see this, you can respond with something like 2k. When you see the Fukio, you can respond with 2k, 5p, 2p, because there's only two places he can be. He can be either here with Fukio back, or he can be going all the way fucking back here. Probably not, okay? He can't stop like right here. It's not possible. He has to go all of this way. So you know, if he dashes, if I press any one of these three, then I am happy. Because if he goes over here, then I'm safe. Safe even if he whip. And if he goes over here, it's a hit. This is why it is really obnoxious to fight Nago when you have weak reactions. And I think Ronin Cat has weak reactions in this matchup. It's not just weak answers. It's reacting, and then it's your, your answers to the situation. The better your reactions, the more convicted your answers can be. If you know and react, Nago is dashing at you, you can like do some crazy shit to him. Like you can like 2D Rekka or some shit. The worst is actually 4D. This this is the worst. This is this is getting scrub grabbed into the corner. Versus Ronin Cat, I see none of this ever. What do we see? Bad answers. We're still on number one by the way. Backdash. Up back. Slow button grab these are bad because you know what happens when you do a bad answer oh up back you think he's gonna grab you he's already fucking 
jailing you back. You see, it took me 35, 35 frames to do that dash up close slash. And then you're getting fucked anyway because your answer was bad. 35 frames. 35 frames. Okay? 35 frames. You see this? You see this sh bullshit? Reacting late is bad. Reacting late is how you kill yourself. But I will say that reacting, snap reacting is how Nago is designed to kill you. Trying to snap react to him dashing is how you get fucked up by Nagoriyuki going backwards. Cool? That's what these are for. Okay? This this is what your Hall of Fame is for. It's because you get to do these and then you get to be safe in case he's trying to fuck you up by doing fa f Fukio backwards. You see that shit? If you watch me play against somebody like Climatize or something, then I almost... It takes me a lot of respect or it takes me forcing the match to slow down to where he's not thinking about it anymore and then I'll, I'll slip into dash okay everything in moderation okay if you spend all of your time looking for the dash and it doesn't come then i'm just gonna 5ss and then i'm gonna do it like eight times okay nago players this is how you get people who look for the dash too much not just look for it you have to react you have to be in it okay or else this is what's gonna happen oh it's, it's like you got fucking knocked down by a meaty because you are looking for the dash so that's number one here's a real high class bout we're gonna get into some spooky shit now What is this? This is reason number two. Ronin Cat has some of the worst bursts I have ever seen. Ronin Cat will burst on the first touch from Nago like more than 75% of the time. It's not a good habit. You know another strong player that has this habit? Flash Metroid has the same habit. And if a Nago sees you do this, they can smell your fear and you're gonna get abused. You're, you're gonna get outplayed one time, get touched, you're gonna burst, and then they're gonna Fukio back, and then they're gonna fucking feel themselves, you know? Fucking rub the nipples. Don't do that. You need to burst like you have common sense, or you're fucked. Nago is different, because if you don't give him a chance to spend his blood, you are making him, like, considerably better. The, the idea is that you want him to spend blood on a combo, so on the next touch, he doesn't blow you out. You want him to invest in a combo, for sure. It saves you a fuck ton of health in the long run. Because if you burst him like this... Before he has a chance to spend the blood. Imagine this is this is the next touch. That's what happens. And the only way that he has access to this combo is because he has this, this much blood to spend. If he doesn't have this, then he risks going over the limit. If he has only this much blood to spend, he absolutely goes over the limit if he tries for a combo like that. By waiting to use your burst, into the pivotal moment in his combo is that you save yourself from him taking you fucking downtown half your life and positive bonus because he can fucking unload this this is like standard anti nago fundamentals it's good to refresh and make sure y'all know that if i get bursted okay we're going to neutral high blood no specials okay then we're playing you know, counter hit Beyblade is uh, one of them. We can take it in the other direction. Dev, beloved Dev of the cow outfit and soul bad guy, doesn't fucking burst any round start combo, and then they get blown out. It doesn't take that much intri intri in intricacy to burst Nago. And number three is gonna be round starts. I have no idea what Ronin Cat is doing on round start. Two. It's a combination of all three things that just makes Ronin Cat spontaneously combust. What's this round start? Up back. IED back JS. You may remember from game 5 versus Super Noon 
at the Twitch Rivals. He's gonna do round start IAD backwards, JS. I'm gonna do round start 2H. Let's see if my hypothesis works. Whoops! Five on five extravaganza. I displayed that this round start is a fucking joke. Because if Nago does IAD back blade blade, you're dead. You need to learn real round starts. Nago does immediate 2H or immediate Beyblade, you are fucked. Especially here. <laughs> Especially like this, because you have no burst again. I wonder why. So what are Ronin Cat's three issues? Once again, tell me. What are what are the three? Bad bursts, doesn't answer Fukio Ford, no answers, and bad round starts. Ellen Uwu says not punishing Fukio, bad bursts, and round start. So here we go. Boom, bad round start. Walk back is not a round start in this matchup. So that's your that's that's what happens when you have no burst against Snoggle round start and you get hit by something dumb. Let's see if we can find an instance of issue number one. Well that round I only dashed two times, so we can go to another one. I don't know why Ronin Cat was up there. Same round start. Dash on wake up. It's looking bad. Alright, well fuck it. I already I said my piece. So it was bad bursts, bad round starts. Not answering dash. The number one to fix in your US weekly article about fighting Nago is definitely answer Fukio. And your win rate will probably double. So that's your lesson, Ronin Cat. Good answers, like, you know, 5P, UK, and then I just grabbed them out of their answer, because they're taking for fucking ever. 30 frames, dude. Iggy Bone, the hard part is knowledge, the easy part is reacting. Trust me. The only things in this game where it's, like, hard to react is, like, closing command grab setups and blocking, like, 18 frame overhead. The way you blow this shit up is by doing Fukio back, but... It's, it's way hard, and there's a bunch of problems with that, as well. If you can react to a Fukio, should you attempt to contest it always? No. That's how, that's how you get blown out by Fukio bad. Honestly, if he dashes into you, and you react, you can, like, grab him 100% at a time. If he's... At the range. But if you just guess on Fukio back versus Fukio forward, then you're you're fucked. That's that's why I say it's not it's not as easy as it seems, but if you just let him dash on you all day, you're you're fucked, dude. You're gonna kill yourself. Network. Really what I'm saying is Fukio back is really good. But Fukio forward is uh frightening. How do I discern if my opponent has good or bad reactions? I can if see immediately from the moment I do dash up anything. All it takes is all it takes is one. And if depending on how they answer, I will abuse them for the rest of the set. I promise you.